everyone, I'm Vivi, and today I'm going to be telling you my top 10 favorite flying type Pokemon. Okay, the flying type is one of the most important types in all of Pokemon, because from Generation 1 to Generation 6, we kind of needed them to fly places with those horrible, horrible HMs. But let's just be thankful that they're never, ever, ever coming back, Game Freak. Um, but these are my favorite flying types, so I hope you enjoy. Number 10 is Zatu. Now, I like Zatu for kind of only a couple of reasons. I like its design. It looks like, um, one of those ancient things. I don't know what they're called. Um, and it also, um, I also like its, um, Pokédex entry that says it, it stays still because it's looking through the past and the future. Like, <laughs> I like that concept. I think it's cool and kind of funny, actually. But, um, I'm... Aside from that, I've never really used it in battle. I've never tried to catch one, really, because I've never encountered one. And I might try one one day. I mean, it's not the best typing, psychic flying, but, um, I might do it one day. We'll have to wait and see, I guess. Although, it doesn't have a good shiny. I'll just say that. <laughs> Number nine is Dodrio. Now, I'm kind of predictable here. You all know I like kings with more than one head. I don't know why. It's just it's strange to me, and I like I like how strange it is. But in all seriousness, it's probably one of the most iconic Pokemon of all time. With all the memes I've seen about it, or about how it flies, I know how it flies though. So it's not it doesn't heads don't spin like a propeller. It it just jumps really fast, and then does this with its feet. Great, now you have me on, now I have that on camera of me doing that. Nice. Um, and, although a few of you may not like it shiny, I actually do, the green actually kind of suits it. And it looks more like a bird, because most birds are green. Well, like, most are brown, but, like, some are green. Like, like, yeah. Although, I don't think they should have had a different gender difference, because male birds are usually more decorated than the females, but the only difference between the male and female dodrios are, are that the males the necks are black and the females are beige. Like, come on, Game Freak. You could have done something better than that. But aside from that, Dodrio is a great Pokemon. Number eight is Altaria. Okay, Altaria is very beautiful. I also used it as an experiment Pokemon because when Ultra Sun and Moon first came out, I wasn't sure if, like, when you found a shiny in the Ultra Wormhole, if it stayed shiny, like, when you soft reset it over it. So, I... I was going to purposely fail a shiny, and Altaria was the one I found, and then I was going to reset over it and see if it stayed shiny, and luckily it did, so I got a shiny out of it at least, but I wouldn't have counted it as a fail because it was for science, so although I would have failed it, I wouldn't have counted it because it was intentional, but I'm glad at least I didn't fail it, at least I still have it. <laughs> I also love its Mega because it's a Dragon Fairy type, although it's not allowed in this list because this is for flying types. Sorry, Mega Altaria. Maybe next time. Um, and I also love just everything about it and its design. It's just wow. Oh, I don't like it wet. It looks scary when it's wet. If you watch the anime, you'll know what I'm talking about. Number seven is Ho-Oh. Okay, Ho-Oh is was the first legendary Pokemon we ever saw in the anime, technically. For me, it was Mewtwo, but, like, for everyone else, it was, um, ho -Oh. And, um, I, I really like Ho-Oh's design a lot. I love it shiny. I need that shiny. I do have Ultra Sun, so I can hunt it. And I might do that, actually. I already have shiny Lugia, so I, I can have both the duo, I guess. Actually, now that I think about it, depending on how you look at it, ho -Oh and Lugia are the only mascot legendaries that don't have, like, a third member of their duo. Because, yeah, I never actually realized that. That's actually pretty cool. Also, I, I'm so glad that ho -Oh finally got the spotlight, I guess, I guess, in the 20th movie. Because, like, it's been 20 years and it never had any spotlight at all. But, now we have the 20th movie where ho -Oh actually played an important part. Thanks, Game Freak. You did something right for once. Number six is Swanna. Okay, this one might be an odd one because Swanna's not a very popular Pokemon, but I just think it's so beautiful. I love its design so much. I mean, I love swans. 
I love every bird. I just love birds so much. I don't know why. Like, I'm kind of, kind of an obsession about birds, really. Actually, aside from one, every Pokemon in this list is a bird, I guess. Kind of. Um, but anyway, back to Swana. I love, I loved it in the anime. Even though it was only on a couple of episodes, I loved, I loved it because it just, it was so, like, graceful and elegant and kind of condescending, really. Because, you know, swans are, like, royal animals in real life. In fact, it's illegal to kill a, or eat a swan because the queen o owns them all for some reason. Um, like, automatically, you, she owns them. <laughs> and I also love its shiny form. It's very nice. I love the purple tinge it has to its wings. Sorry, I was itching my eyebrow. Um, and that's basically all I have to say. Although, I don't like Ducklet. I will say that. Ducklet's just a copy of Psyduck. And Psyduck's a really memorable Pokemon. Come on. You all remember Misty Psyduck. Number five is Lugia. Okay, I know I talked about Ho-Oh, but I like Lugia better than Ho-Oh. Lugia was so amazing in Pokemon the Movie 2000. Like, I loved it so much. It was the first time I saw Lugia. And I love its shiny because it's the first legendary shiny I ever hunted. And it didn't even take that long. And I'm so proud of it. Um, I, I don't, I don't... I think I named it, actually. I don't... No, I didn't. Um, I also... I, one thing I don't like about it is its wings. They look like big hens. Like, look like big hens doing this. Like, that creeps me out. I do have a Lugia plushie, but if I take it, there'll be an avalanche, so... Um, I'll just... I don't know. I, I guess I'll see it in Pokemon Quest at some point. Hello. It's not gonna be in the next episode. I already have that planned, but you'll have to wait. But anyway, back to Lugia. And I also loved its voice in the Pokemon the Movie 2000. That was so cool. And it's also the first legendary Pokemon to be a baby, because there was a baby one in the anime. So, everything about you is cool, Lugia. Number four is Star Raptor. Alright, Star Raptor, I only like it for one reason, and that's because of the anime. And because of my t it was in my team in Pokemon Platinum. Um, it's one of the most used Pokemon in, Pokemon, in, like, Gen 4, and for some reason everyone has it, like, it is cool, and I love it so much. I don't know if, it, I don't know if I would say it's my favorite regional bird, I don't really, because I don't really like them that much, but I do love Star Raptor, I'll, and I always love Star Raptor, because of the anime, it's shiny form, I need it, I am going to hunt it, because you can hunt it in X and Y, and I just love it, everything about it. Like, please give me a shiny Star Raptor right now. I need it. And Ash's Star Raptor was so awesome. Like, that was one of his best Pokemon. And I kind of wish he still had it, to be honest, because that was really, really, really cool. And I, I binge watched Diamond and Pearl recently, and seeing it again was so awesome. Number three is Charizard. Okay, this is a cliche, so I don't really have to talk about it that long. But, you all know how much I love Charizard, and how much I'll always love Charizard, because it's Charizard. Like, that's all I need to say, really. <laughs> I don't need to say anything else about it, because it's Charizard. So, let's move on. Number two is Rowlet. Okay, Rowlet is adorable. I love Ash's Rowlet. I love the shiny form. I do have a shiny form, but, like, I, I want another one, I guess. But... And I also, I just love everything about it. It's still just round and perfect, and I want to hug it so much. I have a plushie up there, but I can't get it either, so, um, I might show you one day again, but, like, not today. Um, and I, I, I just love it. Although it's not my favorite, my starter, my favorite Alolan starter is, um, Pop Leo, but, um, Rowlet it is cute. At first it didn't interest me when I first saw it, but I've grown to love it. I love the little leaf bow tie as well, that's a really nice touch. Although it's, and it's also the second starter to have a secondary typing after Bulbasaur, which is really, really cool. Oh, evolutions don't count. Like, oh, I mean, like, first stage starters. It's the second one. <laughs> Number one is Togekiss. Alright, you all know I love Togekiss. Uh, and you all know I love Togepi. I love the whole evolution line. It's one of the few evolution lines where the Pokemon doesn't stop being cute for the whole thing. Which is really good. I love that. Because if Togepi evolved into, like, a scary Pokemon, like, or something, I really wouldn't have liked that. Because 
Togepi will always be one of my favorite Pokemon, but, and even though I don't lo like, like its evolutions as much as Togepi, I still like them. Uh, Togetic is really the only fairy type that actually looks like a fairy, to be honest. Like, I, I mean an actual real fairy. Like, some are fairy-like, like Jigglypuff and Gardevoir, but they don't actually look like fairies. I also love Dawn's Togekiss. That was cool. I also used it in my Platinum team. It was a female the first try, and I loved it so much. It was so cool to use. Um, and I just love everything about it, and I, I want a plushie of one, but they're so god... I'm about to say something there. I'm not going to say that. It, they're so god darn expensive. But I will get one one day. And, you know, I actually find its shiny form hilarious as well. You, you all know what I'm talking about. Well, that was my top 10 favorite flying type Pokemon. Let me know what your favorite flying type is. And remember, if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything at all. And please like and subscribe. And I'm Vivi, and I'll see you next time. Bye!